think I've got a really efficient way of solving this problem, although there are many ways to do it. We've got dark green paint made by mixing blue and yellow paint such that 60% is blue, and light green paint is made by mixing blue and yellow paint such that 60% is yellow. Now, Pablo is mixing dark and light green paint such that 60% of the mixture is dark paint, and we want to know what the ratio of blue to yellow in Pablo's paint is. So you could do this in all sorts of ways, but because we are uh, looking at a ratio as the final answer here, just writing everything down in ratios uh, is quite a nice way of solving this. So if we look at the dark paint, the ratio of blue to yellow would be 3 to 2. That would be 60% blue, 40% yellow. Uh, in the light paint, the ratio of blue to yellow would be the other way around. It would be 2 to 3, 40% um, of one and 60% of the other again. Right Now, because these are have the same total number of parts, we can think, oh, imagine this is just, you know, five litres of dark paint and five litres uh, of light paint, right? And they would both be in those ratios. I'd have three litres of uh, blue, two, two litres of yellow, or uh, vice versa in each lot of five litres. So when I mix the dark and uh, the light paint together with 60% dark and 40% um, light, I could also apply that ratio and say, okay, well, that's like just taking three lots of the dark paint for two lots of the light paint. So you've got to be very careful here. This method, uh, you'd have to adjust if the total number of parts of the ratios weren't equal, but because they are here, I can just um, add together uh, three lots of the first uh, ratio to two lots of the second uh, ratio. So that, so, so that would be uh, three lots of the dark would be like saying I've got nine liters of uh, blue and six liters of yellow, and in the light paint, uh, four liters of blue and six liters of yellow. And then I just add those together and say, okay, the total mixture then is going to have uh, 13 liters um, of uh, blue and 12 liters of yellow. And that gives us a ratio of 13 to 12, which is the answer here, which is D for a very, very efficient method.